previously on Survivor Roleplay. Whee! Oh, what a lot of fun. Way up, what's that? What's Dennis doing? What's he doing with Fletch's bike? Hey, hey Dennis. What are you up to? Uh, well, I was just uh, making my way up to the farm on that bone shaker. I spotted this note. Somebody had stuck it to the wall. Let's have a look. Hmm, it's from Penny. She's been here. Oh, what does it say then, Wynn? <sighs> I don't believe it, Dennis. She's unbelievable. Just listen to what she's written. Wynn, I'm staying at my brother's house for a couple of days so that I can rest. When I return, I want to fix things between us. I love you, Penny. Yeah. How does she expect to fix things? She doesn't know that I know, does she? Oh, well, of course she doesn't win. I did promise her I wouldn't tell you. Now, well, thank you for telling me, Dennis. I needed to know. Oh, well, that was my thinking too. Uh, so what are you going to do, Win? I wish I knew, Dennis. What should I do? What can I do? Well, a listener, I'd say, the best thing you can do is pretend you don't know. Then, let her explain herself. Yeah, okay. I'm not quite following you, though. Win, you can't hide a pregnancy. Either she's put on a ton of weight, which you'll have to explain any road, or she's pregnant. There you are. There's your opportunity. What, so I just have to wait for the bump to get bigger and pretend that I know nothing? Oh, of course not, Win. Look, she's already been to hospital once. She's showing signs of pregnancy. I'm sure the next sign will be just around the corner. Right, okay. I hate this, Dennis. I don't want to be playing games or pretending. Oh, why? I know where you're coming from, Win. Just think, if everyone told the truth, the world would be a much happier place and things would be simple. After all, you've got nothing to worry about. You're not the one that's gone off with someone else, are you? It's a good point, Dennis. Thanks for your help, Dennis. I'm sure I'm going to need more assistance. Well, you know where I am. Down at the Rusty Fork, or whatever it's called today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah what are you going to call the pub? Oh, I'll just keep the original name. It's much easier. Oh, hi. You must be Anna. Yes. Nice to meet you, Wynn. I'm sure Peter has told you all about me. Not really. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> welcome. Uh, I won't give you a tour of the yard because you can see most of it from here anyway. That's fine. So, what got you interested in farming? I hear you're very interested in it. My parents used to own a farm, but they had to sell it due to financial reasons. I always dreamed of running the family farm one day. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's tough. I'm working really hard to keep this farm successful. Anyway, uh, just behind me here is the farm office. If you need a break, feel free to put your feet up in there. Okay, thank you. What jobs will I get to do whilst I'm here? Hey, hey oh. That's Dennis back there. I'm sure you'll get used to him. Anyway, have you driven any tractors before? Oh yes, I love driving tractors. In that case, I should be able to get you started on some field work. I enjoy fixing tractors too. Oh. Really, yeah. Are you okay? Is that a problem? No, no. It's lovely. It's just... You reminded me of someone that I uh, once loved. That's all. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Please. Do you want to talk about it? There's not much to say. My fiancé went behind my back with someone else. If you know what I mean. I understand. I'm sorry, Wynne. Thank you, Anna. Anyway, let's give you a job. Do you fancy doing a bit of mowing? I'd love to. Great. Well, the top field needs cutting. I'll help you get it set up and then it's all yours. If you need any help or if you're unsure of something, please do ask. Of course. Thank you.
Okay, and then, yeah, this is the field. Just need all of the grass cutting all the way up to the top boundary. And yeah, as I said, please do just come and speak to me if you find an issue or, you know, if you're struggling. Right, okay, so um, that's Anna sorted. I need to continue spraying. You can see the corn is coming through very nicely. But we've got all the other fields to do as well. Actually, this field, this field is already very well fertilized, so this is not a priority. We are gonna be focusing on the, the ones down at the bottom because they actually need to have more than one application before harvest. Ah, oh, win. You sure that was the best idea? What? Well, uh, you know, putting it straight on that tractor. You don't know how experienced she is. No, that's true. But she said she's driven tractors before, so I'm just trusting her, really. Oh, well. Remember who's going to be responsible if anything goes wrong? You're right. You're right. I'll definitely keep checking up on her. But thanks, Dennis. Oh, right. Well, anyway, I must be off. Gonna have to get back on my bone shaker. Right, out the way, Win. Expert cyclist coming through. Oh, and Win, if she comes back and I'm not here, just act like you don't know anything, right? Okay. See you, Dennis. Right, see ya. Hey, nice bike. Looks like I've got competition. Blimey! Here we are. Oh, crikey. Blimey. That curve needs lowering. Could have put me in hospital that good. Hey, hey up. Oh. Get your own bike. This is mine. Well, what we're going to do is get the sprayer refilled. We do still have liquid fertilizer in the IBC here. And then we're going to go down to those two lower fields to get the first application put onto them. that field there needs to be sprayed as well that field there is almost ready still ripening but yeah very soon next month that is going to be harvested so here we are in our oat field let's unfold our sprayer yeah it's been tough to keep up actually been trying to keep these fields maintained the, the key thing is to get fertilizer on and herbicide we've done the herbicide and we've got some fertilizer on. These two however um, they have been I guess you could say forgotten about because of all the other work that's been going on. There's just so much to do for just me. It's just one person running the entire farm. Having Anna around is going to make a big difference so obviously she's going to need certificates to do certain jobs like spraying um, but yeah despite this it's still going to be helpful because she can do the more basic jobs I guess you could say the ones which don't require more certificates and qualifications. So yeah, definitely these two and then that one over there. Crying out loud. That's Anna's bike. I've just run over it. Ah. I've bent the spokes and destroyed it. Ah. Okay. I'm going to have to tell her. Well, it's not like I couldn't hide it. Why, oh, why did she leave it there? Oh. I didn't even see it. Okay, well, 
Great, that's cost me. I'm going to have to buy her a new bike. And I'm going to have to take her home. Okay, well let's refill. We'll do the other fields. We'll break her the news gently. There we go, fertilised. So we need to shut the gate. Harvest is not far away though. Next month we're definitely going to be starting. I'll have to make sure the combine is checked over. Although it hasn't really done much. Like last year it didn't really do much at all. So it should be fine. Obviously we'll check the oil, all that sort of stuff. Hi Peter, what are you up to? I was just looking at this fine sculpture of a bicycle. At least what used to be a bicycle. Looks like somebody's driven over it. Um, yeah, um, I did accidentally run over it. <sighs> Looks expensive. Whose is it? It's Anna's. You mean my Anna, who's on work experience here? Yep. And you've already driven over her bike. Wow. What a nice greeting. Don't worry, Peter. I'm going to be replacing it for her. Yeah, well, rather you than me. That's an expensive model. Anyway, I was just passing by. One of my workers has dropped me off. I've been to see Anna up at the top. She's making good pros with that grass. Well done for keeping her busy. I think she'll go far, you know. She seems ambitious, yeah, and willing to learn. It's great. It's a shame she's only going to be here once a week. Oh, no. Really? I was thinking it was like five or six days a week. Unfortunately not when she is only going to be here for a few weeks, just once a week. That's really disappointing. Well, who knows, maybe she'll want a job here. Well, there is that, I suppose, but of course you need the money to be able to employ a worker. We'll have to uh, look at the books. That's, of course, if she's interested. Anyway, when I'll be seeing you later. Oh, I just spoke to Penny, by the way. You, you spoke to Penny? Yeah, yeah, she was uh, she was in the shops. Right. Was she with anyone? That's a strange question, Wynn. Well, I was just curious. Uh, she was with some man, yeah. Some man? Who? I have no idea, Wynn. I didn't recognise him. Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> I'm being silly. Um, thanks, Peter. Anyway, Wynn, got to take this case tractor home. I trust you finished with the trailer. I have for now. Yeah, I need to buy one actually for harvest. Well, you can borrow mine if you need it, but yeah, can't guarantee it's always going to be available. Hmm. Well, she's probably with her brother. I guess. It would make sense. That's what she said in the note. Up until now, I did trust her. Alright, let's go and see how Anna's getting on. 
pretty good. Yeah, nice progress. It's all cut. Well, Anna's just gone back to the farm. She's going to have a break in the farm office, I guess. Uh, meanwhile, I should probably get a tether and ted this because it does need to be baled. We obviously don't need any more silage and we don't actually need the hay, but it would be good to sell hay. So, yeah, she's done a good job. Look at that. That's amazing. Very good. She's a natural. <laughs> I wish I could employ her to be here. Um... So yeah, let's get back down to the farm. We need to take the mowers off that tractor. We'll put a tether onto it. I guess I could actually use the uh, 1200. Whatever's more convenient, really. But yeah, we'll run down here. Also, at, at some point this summer, we're going to have to uh, tackle all this brush and weeds. I want to tidy the place up a bit. Um, yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. Maybe we should... Um, Use the case. Probably should do. Let's head off to the store. We'll rent a tether from them. I think it's usually about, what, 100, 200 pounds? Something like that. Crikey, it's pedestrian rush hour. In your own time. She was totally oblivious to me being here. I know it's her right away, but still. <laughs> Oh no, I ran over this dog's ball. Well, the dog that spends most of its time on the road. Where is it? Oh well. I go and pay. Blimey, £250. Sounds expensive. I guess it's quite new. So there we are, we're turning it. The sun can bake the other side. It's a beautiful day for it. Yeah, this side's a little awkward. And that fence, we've got a little fence over there. Well, posts which are actually rotten by the look of it, they're all leaning. Um, we should probably rip that out, I would say. Just shoot you a bit closer, yeah. They look to be rotten, some of them. It's serving literally no purpose. Uh, there used to be a continuation of it here. But we got rid of it. Well, Peter got rid of it to put the track in. So, yeah, it's it's just not needed. We'll, we'll get it pulled out. I will, of course, just confirm with Peter first, but I don't see the point in having it. It's not like we have animals in here anymore. There was animals at one point, but, yeah, I don't see us having animals here again. Yeah, it really is uh, turning it nicely.
just noticed that Penny has left the light on in the workshop. Uh, I don't know how long it's been on for, but we should probably go and turn it off. I'll just finish up here, and I'll get it switched off. Yeah, if we were to ever buy a tether, I would want to get one like this. It is so fast. Perfect for our size of farm. I think, yeah, the priority is a trailer. Like, we need our own trailer. And then after that, probably our own tether. Um, and then obviously we can start to upgrade other equipment after that. But this hay should generate a bit of income for us. And, uh, well, <laughs> like I said, um, it would be nice if we had Anna more than once a week. Because uh, she seems very keen to learn and, well, she seems good at what she does. So, uh, yeah, she would be a great asset to the farm. Hopefully she uh, stays interested in farming and wants to help out. There we go. And the final piece. When we windrow, we'll have to windrow it off the uh, track. That's no good. Right. So, switch that off there. We'll go and return it in just a second. And we'll turn the light off. Wynn, why did you turn the lights off? Penny, I didn't know you were here. I just needed to collect some things. Oh, well don't let me stop you. How are you? Fine, thanks. I know about the baby, Penny. How did you find out? It's obvious. Okay, I was going to tell you. Oh, that you're pregnant or something else? That I'm pregnant, of course. What else? Nothing. It's lovely, isn't it? What is? Uh, that we're having a baby together? It's the best thing in the world! Oh, yeah? Yes, I'm so happy about it. I should probably be going. Of course. Take care, Penny. <laughs>